Hello and welcome to Sierra Make. Since you guys liked my frog plushie from TikTok so much, I thought I would try to make another stuffed animal. This one isn't going to be something that I saw on TikTok. I just did it because I felt like it. <laughs> but it's still a stuffed animal. It's still a plushie. It's still squishy. So let's get into it. For today's mushroom plushie, I didn't have a pre-made pattern to use, so I thought it would be fun to try and make my own pattern using a method that I saw once on a TikTok. And for the life of me, I could not find that same TikTok, so I was just guessing at the method, and I definitely did something wrong. But I remember the TikTok had tinfoil and that they molded the tinfoil and then they might have put saran wrap on top of that and then the tape, but I just did straight tape over that and then I marked out where I wanted the cut lines to be and I tried to cut it out and because I didn't put anything between the aluminum and tape, the tape did what it does best and stuck to the aluminum and it Basically, it didn't really work, and I got, I guess I got some forms out of it, but it was just kind of a rough shape, so it didn't really work. Anyways, that's fine, because luckily enough for me, it's not hard to guess what the forms for a mushroom plushie would look like. Basically, you just need the base bit. I guess that's called the stem, and then the cap. And so it's basically going to be some rectangles and circles and, I guess, a cone for the top of the mushroom. So I'm just going to try and draw that out with a rough sketch and we will just use that to make the mushroom pattern. This mushroom will be able to fly with how much I'm winging it. If you don't want to just wing your mushroom plushy pattern like I am... Don't worry, there is a ton of them online. Just Google mushroom plushie pattern and you can either buy them or there's some for free. So you can just use one of those instead of fumbling around like I am. Anyways, now I'm just cutting out the mushroom pattern and checking to see if some of the parts will fit together like there's not too much extra length in some areas but as i was doing that i got an epiphany it would be so so adorable if this mushroom wasn't just a mushroom but it had a face on it so here i am with this hecka old laptop and it has this embroidery machine program on it and i just uploaded a ton of different faces that I could use for my mushroom. So here are a few of them. As you can see, it's quite the assortment. I didn't end up using this particular face, but I am going to show you just a quick overview of how I put this embroidery piece together. So the machine basically takes your stock image and I just cropped it right here and it picks out the colors and then turns that into a stitch file that it then uses on the embroidery machine. I, yeah, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, it's a whole other program and I'm not going to go into depth with it. But basically it takes my image and turns it into stitches, which is super cool. So I just sent that over to the embroidery machine and now I'm going to prep my fabric. Here I have the smallest embroidery hoop that I can use on the machine and I'm laying out my fabric and I'm going to put this tear away stabilizer underneath which kind of holds the fabric in place and makes sure that your embroidery, you know, doesn't get stretched any weird way. And now I'm just smoothing out the upper fabric, making sure that it's flat and also that the direction of the fur is going the way I want it to. And now I'm just going to tighten up that loop with a screwdriver so that it's secure and put it on the embroidery machine. I'm going to use one of these pinks for the blush and then a black for the eyes and mouth. I think I'll use the darker pink because it shows up a bit better. And there is our face. Ignore the mistake right there. Let's cut it out. 
The parts I'm going to cut out of this tan fabric is the stem pieces and the underside of the cap. Don't forget to include your seam allowance and let's cut this. There, those pieces are cut out. Now I need to cut out the cap, but I realized I forgot to tell you what fabrics I was using, so I'm going to be using this tan for the base. I'm also going to be using this white fur for some of the spots on the cap, and I'm going to use this red fur for the cap. Basically, I'm using these colors because they are the only furs that I have in colors that kind of suit a mushroom look. I'm also going to be using threads that match the color of the fabric as close as possible. Alright, now we can continue on with cutting out the cap in this red fur. Alright, now we have four red cap triangle pieces and we will sew these all together to make a dome. Okay, now I have my white spots pinned to my red dome, and I'm going to use a white thread to zigzag stitch all around these white spots to hold them in place. Here's what that looks like. Kind of patchworky, but it'll do. Time to do the other spots. And on to the stem. Hehe, <laughs> doesn't it look so cute? Now let's pin it all together and sew it. I accidentally made the dome circle a little bit bigger than the inner circle, so I had to account for that by folding in some of the fabric and stretching the inner circle. Now that it's sewn with a little gap in the side, we will flip it inside out. Time to stuff it! Lastly, let's hand stitch the gap closed. The thread I'm using is that tan thread from before. And there's our finished squishy! Of course you gotta squish it to make sure that it is really a squishy. I think it came out alright. I mean, you can tell I didn't use a pattern for this because it's a little lopsided in some areas and, you know, it doesn't look exactly like I was hoping it would. You know how mushroom caps kind of curve downward, but that inner part 
it looks more like a ball on top of his head than a a cap really but i don't have any clue how i would fix that so i think it's adorable as is and i definitely think the face was a perfect touch let's see it next to the other stuffy i made Wow, honestly, it kind of fits right in. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And also let me know if you like watching me flail at making stuffies or stuffed animals. Or you don't want to see me ever try to make one of these again. Please tell me in the comments down below. And be sure to hit the like button. Share this video if you thought it was cute. And subscribe because I post every Friday at 3. Thank you for watching.